there is Swopal as well. So I'm actually at the end of my fourth year now and I'm waiting on results. The only thing left to do right now is to hand in a few assignments and I will be at the pretty much the end. But there's one course left and that's called Dental Practice Management. That course deals with, how, basically it's self-explanatory, it deals with how to manage a practice and market your office. But yeah, the next four weeks, once I can come up with the, the money, um, I'll be going into fifth year once the grades are, are good. The exam wasn't, wasn't exactly the most easy exam and I kind of knew it was going to be challenging. Um, one of the questions was about uh, a lady who had like abscesses to her upper um, gingiva with exposed bone on one of the molars and that was a bit of a, a random case for an exam and then like another case was a, a person that came in with a tooth that had facial swelling as a result of the tooth or we were assuming that it's as a result of the tooth there were quite a few cases and it was like 10 cases 10 four of them were like long essays that we had to use like the format preventative, sorry, emergency preventative, um, restorative, advanced restorative maintenance. So that's pretty, that was pretty um, interesting. So we had a written exam, which was this Monday. Yeah, Monday. And then, sorry, last week, Friday. What am I saying? Last week, Friday. And then Monday, we had um, what we would term an OSCE. No, I, I said it right. We had, we had the written examination on Monday. Then we actually felt like it was so long ago. Then we had the OSCE on Monday as well too, in the afternoon. And Tuesday, we had a patient. We were supposed to have deaf patients, our patients that were hearing impaired. However, some of us weren't able to do the exam on Tuesday because some of our patients didn't turn up. Wednesday, we had, which was yesterday, we had um, treatment planning. So we basically had to see a patient do an oral examination probing, BPE, well BPE probing, say the right order, x-rays, and then come up with a treatment plan for the patient. Time, time, it, it, to do, we had literally two and a half hours to do everything, and trust me, that wasn't enough, especially if you know about how to take a dental x-ray, you will know for a fact that dental x-rays are really challenging to take. It's not even like, like a normal x-ray, you just put a person in front of, of, a, um, of a, a, a source, and it just, you, you know, you irradiate them. You have to get the filming correctly. The person has to be comfortable enough to keep that position. It's, it's a nightmare. And I myself have had x-rays done. And yeah, if you have a gag reflex, it can be stressful as well too. So yeah. So that's just a synopsis of what's been going on. Uh, my office is, it's not bad. It's just one, one, one. So that's, that's an improvement from where I was before. Um, so I've been doing some research and I, I realized this week that I really don't want to go back to school again after this degree. <clears throat> I remember if, if you remember what I was saying before about the dental degree in the United States, if you go to the United States or Canada, you have to, for the most part, you have to go back to school for the two years. And I just, I realized this week that I am literally over school. And the reason for that is very simple. And I spoke about this in a previous video. A lot of persons that were in my school year are actually graduating from their four-year programs. My program hasn't even officially started. I'm, I'm actually doing the prerequisites to going to oral and maxillofacial surgery. So I feel like I'm being left behind. And that's one thing you have to deal with. And it wouldn't be so bad if financially, like, you were up to scratch. But even then, school's draining you. So oral maxillofacial surgery, the pursuit of it can be a bit of a, it drains you. It's, a, that's, it's the reason why a lot of people don't choose a specialty because it's, it's really hard to, to, to pay for the second degree and just pursue this, this career. And that's why they charge so much. So I decided this week, because um, I had a, there's a consultant here who told me, yo, just do your US exams, your US MLE examinations, if you're gonna go to the US. I've always been set in the UK for the most part, but this week I decided that if I'm going to go to the US, I might as well just do plastics. So I won't, if I, go, if I choose to go to the United States, I won't be doing oral and maxillofacial surgery. 
And the reason for that is, is that I, I'm just not going back to school for those two years. I don't have 140,000 US dollars to pay anybody right now. Um, I have to pay off the debt for school and I need to get to work. I don't even know how I'm going to pay for fifth year now, but I just know for a fact that school right now is not, it should not be my next job, my next thing. So if I go to the, my plan was very simple. For November coming up, depends on, on how much money I'm able to gather. I may take step one and see if the US is for me. If I don't do, get a good score, I have an idea of what I want to tell you. I'll do a, a vlog on it and tell you how I'm going to study it. I'm going to actually do a vlog about my study pattern and everything. And then I'm going to do this exam. Then I'm going to do a video on my reaction to my score. If it's bad or good, you'll get to know my score. That's just me. I'm, I'm very open about my grades for the most part. So um, if it's bad, I'll tell you. If it's good, I'll tell you. But I'm going to let you know how I study and what I study. And yeah, if that score is good or good enough to get me into general surgery or plastic surgery, I'll choose the United States. If not, I'll, I'll stick with the, with the UK route. And that's just my plan for now. But for, if I'm going to the, US, the USA, I'm not doing MBDE. I'm not trying to get into the oral amounts of the facial surgical program for the simple reason. For those programs, you have to go back to school for the two years and I'm not doing it. I don't have the money. And right now I have two kids. Yeah, it's rough. So yeah, US versus UK, which one will win? Guys, I hope when the time comes, I'm, I'm smiling because I hope the grade is good. So you'll get to see everything step by step. I'm going to be vlogging all from now to November. So you're not going to see me much until November, December. If I'm not able to get the money for the exam, I'll come and vlog and let you know that I'm not doing the exam in November. But for now, it's tentative November.